today I'm going to be teaching how to trap and pass a soccer ball with the inside of your dominant foot. This skill is important because passing and trapping are the two most vulnerable times in a game for turnovers, so it's important to be able to accurately pass the ball to your teammates. For this skill, you need to have a partner, so everybody go ahead and partner up. Lewis, can you come and demonstrate with me? Mm -hmm. Here's what this complete skill looks like. Thank you, Lewis. Great, so now that we've seen the whole skill, we can break it down into parts. Some cue words that you wanna keep in mind while you're working on your passing skill are toe to target, square hips, inside of foot, and step through. The cue word that you wanna keep in mind when trapping the ball is absorb. To begin, you want to make sure that your body is facing your target. You want your head to be in line with your shoulders and your hips, and they're all facing your target. You are going to plant your non-dominant foot next to the soccer ball and you also want to make sure that your toe is facing the target. The direction that you're facing is the direction that the ball is going to move. You want your body to be leaned slightly over the ball but you want your eyes to be looking at your target and not at the ball. You're going to contact the soccer ball with the middle of the inside of your dominant foot. The contact point is the center of your foot and the contact point on the ball is the center of the ball. Throughout the pass, you want to keep your ankle locked and stable. You're then going to follow through with your passing foot and your passing foot should end planted in front of your planted foot. For receiving a ball, you want as the ball is rolling to you, you want to try to absorb the ball so that it doesn't roll away from you. The goal is to keep it no more than two to three feet in front of your body. Some things to keep in mind are that you want to pass with the inside of your foot and you don't want to pass it or trap using your toe. You also want to make sure that you're slightly leaning over the ball and not leaning your body back as this can cause you to be off balanced. Another thing that you want to keep in mind is that the power comes from your entire leg, going back and then moving through the ball. You want to make solid contact with the ball and you don't want to drag or push the ball during the pass. I'm now going to demonstrate the entire skill again. Lewis, can you come join me again? First, I'll do a side view demonstration. I'll now do a front view demonstration. Some modifications for an advanced learner to make this skill harder are to try one touch passing with your partner. Another way to make this skill harder is to add defensive pressure to passing in drills such as small field keep away. Another way to make this skill harder is to make it an open skill with several multiple outcomes by having different zones and the coach tells the players what their target zone is. For beginners, some modifications to make this skill easier are to stand closer together with your partner, to take three touches instead of two to help yourself better set up, and also for younger kids to use a smaller size ball that is lighter weight. To review this skill, 
The cues that you want to keep in mind for passing the ball are toe to target, square hips, inside of foot, and follow through. For receiving the ball, the cue word that you want to keep in mind is absorb because you don't want the ball to bounce far away from you. You want to make sure that your body is always facing your target and that you're looking where you're passing the ball because this is the direction that your ball is going to move. And you want to make sure that you're passing with enough speed to reach your partner before it is intercepted by another player. If there aren't any questions, then you and your partner can go ahead and grab a ball and start practicing your passing and trapping.